I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute for Monday, July 22nd. Both soybeans and corn closed higher, seeing some speculative support tied to weather concerns. Now, near-term conditions do look favorable in much of the Midwest and Plains, but a hotter, drier weather pattern is expected to set in in some northwestern growing areas, gradually moving towards the east, potentially stressing both corn and soybeans during key phases of development. Also, U.S. soybeans have become more competitive on the export market, especially against Brazil, and Mexico did buy more than 130,000 tons of new crop U.S. corn this morning. Wheat closed higher, supported by some speculative buying interest linked to weather concerns for U.S. spring wheat in the northwestern plains on up into the Canadian prairies and uh, dry weather concerns in portions of the Black Sea region and excessively wet weather in parts of Europe, the lane planning and harming quality. Also, the U.S. dollar index was down during the session. That makes U.S. goods less expensive on the export market. Live and feeder cattle were higher, preparing for widespread direct cash cattle business. This week's show list looks mixed, mostly lower than last week, up in Texas, down in Kansas, Nebraska, and Colorado. Box beef was mixed at midday. And hogs ended the session mixed, the nearby contracts up on demand expectations. Traders generally expect better near-term than long-term demand. Pork was sharply higher at midday. With the closing market minute for Monday, July 22nd, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins.